so it's been a couple of years since the whole everybody was locked down except for us in Florida. And you're starting to see movies come around. People are wearing the masks. It's all the movies that were made during the pandemic and everything. It's been a couple. It takes a couple of years to make a movie. And I guess at some point in time, someone got sick and tired of the whole shebang and made a movie called Sick, where the villains are these mask Nazi Karens out there that are uh, running around yelling at people for not having a freaking face diaper over their mouth. So how is the movie anyway? Okay, you know what? Well, I, in all honesty, got to tell you, this is pretty damn good. I, I like this one. It, it reminded me of the older slasher movies in the 1980s, 19, well, late 90s anyway. There was a period of shh, slasher films were barren there. But it really does work. All right, gang, so let's face it. Two years have passed, takes a little bit to make a movie, so now you're getting all of the movies that were made during the pandemic. That's why you get, like, Glass Onion. They're wearing the freaking face diapers and all that kind of stuff. Someone was going to make a slasher film based on the whole closure thing and the whole, uh, in this case, wearing a mask. Yes, people are getting killed in this film because they didn't wear a mask, <laughs> which is something because it does make those um, mask Nazis the villains of the story. And there goes my bird. All righty. But I'll tell you what, I like this film. It had a good atmosphere to it. It had a decent reason for the killers to be killers, according to them. To me, it was kind of funny, like I said, because it made the villains of the, uh, the mask Nazis. It's just a lot of fun. I, I had a good time with this one. Um, the <laughs> especially the big twist at the end. That that was enjoyable. I, it, it's basically these two girls, they go off to a cabin. Or these, the plot is this, this group of friends. These girls go to a cabin. They want to isolate there. Okay, looks great. Gorgeous setting. This is a place that you want to freaking close. Makes me wonder why the owners didn't just hole up there, right? It's a beautiful lake view. And then they start getting terrorized. And they start getting chased around until, of course, everything escalates to the end. And you've got your slasher film. And these two girls are trying to survive. What is also impressive is it's two girls. This isn't something that's, it's like, not like Friday the 13th, where they're killing one person, next person, next person, next person, go forth. And it's, uh, it really is just a survival thing. And it works. Once again, atmosphere is good. We've got uh, decent killers who are believable, meaning when they get pushed, they fall down. And ultimately uh, do get dispatched in a way they ain't coming back, kids. And I hope they decide not to do a franchise with this because this is not a supernatural killer here. Uh, twiddles, the world, world twiddles. Yeah. Overall, man, I, I'll tell you what, I, I recommend this film. If you can find it, it's called Sick and it is on um, Fuck a Donkey. As I've said in my best and worst videos, my wife loves horror films. So when we went looking for one, we were on Peacock. It's one of my favorite streaming services. It's the universal one. And we found this movie called Sick. Here's the thing. Two years. Usually it takes about two years to make a movie, right? Unless they're doing it poorly. <laughs> but this is when all of the pandemic movies were made this is when all of the uh all, all, all the isolation the lockdowns that you guys put yourself through i'm floridian we literally had our two well and that's not true we had two months not two weeks so uh, to me the pandemic's been over since damn near the beginning you know it's it, and so i don't really feel comfortable watching people wear the face diaper. So when I see Glass Onion or when I see a movie like this, I'm like, God dang, people really did lose their minds over this kind of stuff. And that's what this is. It is a movie where people are being terrorized and sometimes killed because they didn't wear the face diaper. <laughs> so I, you knew it had to happen. Now, what kind of is funny about it is it makes villains out of the mask Nazis. 
the Karens, the people who would scream at someone in a grocery store or do something or even attack people physically. We actually saw that. This is just the, uh, the extended version of it. The movie creates a great atmosphere. A group of friends going to a lake, uh, lake house to ride out the pandemic, to isolate. Beautiful view, great setting, beautiful cabin. I mean, it's a really nice place to set your, uh, your horror film, and then they start getting terrorized. One thing I like, this isn't a Jason or Michael Myers movie where it's let's kill this caricature, that caricature, that character. It's two, I think it is two girls. I'm trying to remember now. It's been a few days. Um, and they start getting terrorized. And they try to survive. And I think it works that way. It works really well that way because we get to know the kids. And let me tell you, the first I'm 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 at the age, kids, just shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You know, I'm I'm, I'm getting to be a grumpy old man. But in this instance, I think they did a good job in building up who these girls were. So when they were in trouble, we we're like, oh, okay, well, don't turn left. The killer's on the left. You know, we want we actually want them to survive. And uh, it, it does do well to create an air of suspension. I was surprised at how much I liked Sick. Uh, the world right now is going freaking nuts for Megan. I thought, Megan, eh, this is the horror movie of 2023 so far, for me at least. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell if you haven't done it already. And if you don't mind helping out the channel other ways... There's a link to Ko-Fi in the description below, so just drop a dollar in the tell. Like, thank everybody who's already done that to everyone, all of the true believers. Thank you very, very much for watching. And you do get a good explanation as to why everybody's being killed and all that kind of stuff. Look, this isn't going to be a movie franchise, if they do it right. There's no reason for it. Um, there, this is not a supernatural killer of any kind or anything like that.